Hi everyone. For my ODU Extra Point, I would like to talk about a sport that's very close to my heart, and that is the sport of NASCAR. Through my Extra Point, I would like to discuss some myths and also try to change your opinion on what you may think of the sport or perceive the sport to be. NASCAR has done a great job at marketing itself over the past decade or decade and a half. They've done a great job at losing the stigma of being a southern state sport only. And one reason that they've done that is by getting drivers that aren't strictly in the south. When you look at statistics recently, the top 12 drivers are called the chase drivers or their playoff spots. The top 12 drivers are mainly from northern states. There are only two drivers out of the 12 that are actually from the south, and those states are Virginia and North Carolina. The bulk of the drivers are from California now. There's a lot from Indiana, a couple in Missouri, and also Wisconsin. So as you can see, NASCAR has done a great job at not only pulling drivers from the south because that was their stigma in the 80s and 90s, but just being able to get drivers from anywhere. And the popularity growth has allowed those drivers to choose NASCAR over other sports or even international sports like Formula One, which I'll discuss later. NASCAR has done a great job at not only getting drivers, but also putting tracks in areas where it's accessible for northern fans to watch the sport live. There's tracks in Michigan, there's tracks in Northern California, there's tracks in Missouri, there's also tracks way up in Canada now, which I'll talk about later with international marketing. NASCAR has recently added Chicagoland Speedway, Kansas Speedway, and also Road America in Wisconsin. These tracks have allowed new fans to like the sport and get involved and see what it's all about, which I believe NASCAR has done a great job with in trying to market themselves. When talking about international sports, NASCAR is now in Brazil, it's also in Canada, like I said. And in the early 90s, it actually went to Japan for a couple races. NASCAR has done a great job at trying to go up against Formula One. Obviously, it's a completely different sport internationally, as Formula One's popularity is tremendous outside of the States. But as NASCAR grows, it's also bringing some of those fans over here to not so much the open wheel times, but the closed-tired NASCAR sport. NASCAR has also done a great job with sponsorships. I believe this is the big turning point for NASCAR to debunkify the myth of being a southern state or hick sport. NASCAR used to be sponsored by Winston. Obviously, we all know that Winston is a cigarette company. Some other sponsors that used to be littered with NASCAR are Skoll or even um, Grizzly Chewing Tobacco. Since then, the sport has pretty much gotten rid of all the tobacco products in the sport. Now, obviously, there's still beer, and that's always going to be the case just because as much as NASCAR tries to lose that myth, that's going to be something that they're never going to be able to shake. Um, by getting rid of the tobacco companies, NASCAR has become a family-oriented sport. Um, if you look at the trends from people going to the races over the past 10 to 12 years, there's been a lot more kids that have been going to races, and that's just because parents are feeling more comfortable with taking their children to races where there's not excessive drinking or not extreme tobacco use. Um, it's a mindset and I believe NASCAR has done a great job at marketing themselves and trying to get away from that stigma like I said earlier of being a southern state sport.